Black diamond. Black diamond. Diamond. Because you're not finna brainwash me or make me I feel like what you saying is right when I know damn well what the fuck you saying is wrong. I know damn well what the hell you saying is wrong. Cause look, if a man say some something to me, let me, I, you know what I said? Let me call my daddy real quick and ask my daddy about this shit. Okay, daddy, this ninja said to me, <laughs> I call my daddy, this ninja said to me, and my daddy will start laughing. Baby, what he said? I said, this ninja said such, 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 such. My daddy said, baby, that ninja lied. That ninja lied to you. My daddy said, well, that ninja said, that ninja, that ninja must think you weak. I said, Dad, I don't know what that ninja think. But I know one thing. He don't get fucked up. He don't, he don't, he don't get the hell on. Let's go, Yogi. Does the time to come with a straw? Nah, baby, don't. I have my own. I um, put my own straw with it. Yeah, he don't get fucked up. So, yeah, I feel like... Um, now, nah, if, if Laura leave his wife, if Laura's wife leave him, Today or tomorrow, right? I feel like Lower, as a man, knows everything that he has put her through. So it will hurt him, but also it will be something that he will have to accept because he knew he knows everything he did wrong to her. And he knows that she deserves to be free and happy. She deserved to be free and happy. When I was listening to that lady yesterday in, in court, in the box, and You think I would have been in that damn box with my husband? Why he out here cutting up on TikTok like that? I have gave that nigga an ultimatum long time ago. Nigga, see the social media on me. Take your pick. But he does all that shit because he know she ain't going nowhere. Men do certain shit to women because they know some of y'all ain't going nowhere. Just like women. Women do certain shit to a man because she know he ain't going nowhere. He's going to accept it. He's going to allow it. Somebody said, I'm pretty sure she's reaping the financial benefits. Mellow man, reaping the financial benefits of what? She's the breadwinner. She go out and work. Remember, Lord said that he was in a um, motorcycle accident. Remember, Lord said he's on a fixed income. He only gets a disability because of the motorcycle accident that he was in. Remember? Hello? So what financial benefits is she reaping? Mellow man, I'll wait. They got some nice TikTok donations. That's it. That's it. So they got some nice TikTok donations. Hear me out. Hear me out, Mellow Man. Mellow Man Mushroom. That girl done been through so much with that man, that girl could pull a whole Risa Tisa. That, whole, that girl could tell a whole life story on social media and pull a whole Risa Tisa. If she want, if she, and, 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 and she can get her own TikTok donations. See how strong that is? Y'all don't like, y'all like them weak women. Y'all like them weak ass women. 
She can make her own money on, on social media, on TikTok. That's what that it see that's it's uh <sighs> that baby get that honey his wife got a story to tell. And women are gonna tune into it and listen. Women are gonna tune into it and listen. Because the way he disrespects his marriage, it's just me. Somebody say she's numb to the BS. My side nigga will be able to call me on the phone and talk to me right in, in front of his face. And if he feels some type of way, I'll throw up everything in his face that he done did to me. And I say, I know motherfucking damn well you ain't worried about my phone and what nigga calling my phone. I know damn well you ain't finna sit here and argue with me about my phone. Now fuck around and let me call him and tell him to pull up to the house and come pick me up. That's the shit I would be on. That's the shit I would be on. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. And Saul never answered your question. No, he ain't answered the question. Because he know I'm right. But I like, I like for, I like to be able to have a conversation with the man. Oh, I got cash out messages to read. Okay. Let me get to it. I like to be able to have a a, a a a a dialogue with a person like Saul, you know what I'm saying, or whatever the case may be, and we still can have a dialogue and then and still not be upset with each other after the, you know what I'm saying, after the disagreement. Because some people, you know, you have a conversation with them, they feel some type of way. All right, so let me get to it. The next cast out message says, a woman. Women have to love God themselves, then man, then a man. A man is not worth losing your life or freedom or freedom. In yesterday's and yesterday, my daughter's estranged husband's girlfriend. Yesterday, my daughter's estranged husband's girlfriend fired six shots into his car while he and my granddaughter were trying to leave. Ladies, set your boundaries. If a man doesn't respect him, he ain't the one. So leave, so leave if bit. You are losing your mind, money, life, or freedom. Yesterday, my daughter, estranged husband's girlfriend, fired six shots into his car while he and my granddaughter were trying to leave. At that point, she was she lost her sanity, her sanity. Yeah, 
when you get to the point where you're trying to shoot, she lost her sanity. And I'm going to tell y'all something. I was with my kid's father and um, we were young. Okay. And I went through a lot with him, hell and back. Right. Um, after a while, I was like, I had numb myself and I was like, okay. Uh, I started cheating on him. But I stayed, first of all, because I didn't know no better. I didn't know no better at all. And I was young. Um, and I said, I'm going to stay and just get the money. Right? I said, I'm going to stay and just get the money. And I was getting the money. However, I was losing my sanity. The Black Diamond Show dot com. Mm.